following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. That's a Bottle Entertainment presents Clinton's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 19, Adrift at Sea. still here. Wait, I thought you saw the Gotokujis and me sink, along with the ship. What's that? The Gorringers sent you here? Well, at least they know I'm still alive. <sighs> What's going on, Quentin? Well, our friend found us after the ship sunk and us with it. So we're at the bottom of the sea. Oh, that's why the Gorringers sent our friend here to find us. Well, we better hurry back to Animation Harbor in Vermilion City. Right. Everyone might think we're dead, and if the Black Cross Army thinks the same, they could destroy all of Animation Land. The question is, how am I going to be able to hold my breath all the way to Vermilion City? Oh, don't worry. You won't have to. What are you talking about? In addition to the pair of lungs, how about that one gill, which allows us to breathe underwater as well as on land? Well, let's go. If you're not a power puff, then take a deep breath and try to hold it for as long as you can. Keep in mind, girls, we're passing by lots of sea creatures here, so keep an eye out. Oh, I think I see the largest animal in the world, the blue whale. So big and beautiful! Let's get going, girls. I can't even imagine how the Black Rass Army would react if they thought we were dead. Well, how are we gonna get back to shore without everyone warning us? I could take you there. Did that whale just talk to us? I think it did. Even animals can understand humans here in animation land. Just hop inside my mouth and I'll take you kids back to your destination. My breath may be smelly, but you'll be alright. Well thanks, uh... Dawn. Dawn the Whale! So what's it like being so big? Well, it's not easy being 100 feet long, nor is it weighing 200 tons. I end up scaring lots of sea creatures a lot, often unintentionally, but I'm actually quite friendly around them. Sometimes being this big can actually help. Like what? Well, every year, I compete in the anger tossing competition, and I always end up making it in the top five. Wow! Oh, there's a great white approaching us. I'm safe for being eaten by them, since I'm much bigger than them. They're so scared that they just leave me alone. Wow, to think that I would get to see a great white with my own eyes! Susan, Bob, Mr. Hooper, and I only knew Quentin for only a few weeks. Yet, when Rainbow Max destroyed the St. Anne, he and the Gotokujis were stuck inside as it sunk while everyone else was evacuating. All four of them will be... Whoa! The whales approached us. Didn't expect that. Alright kids, this is our stop. Vermilion City is directly in front of me. Now head down my throat and I'll spout you kids to the land. Are you sure this is a good idea? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Hold on tight. Looks like Quentin and the Gotokujis were still alive after all. Sorry about that everyone. Some people who evacuated from the ship told me they were dead. They didn't know that Powerpuffs could breed underwater, so I do apologize. <laughs> Apology accepted, Gordon. Hey, Clinton, congrats on making it back safely. Wait, you knew that we were still alive? The Gordangers are well aware that Powerpuffs can breathe underwater. Wow. Well, thanks, Don. Hey, it was the least I could do. Maybe I'll see you kids again sometime. Well, congrats on holding your breath for so long. Now that everyone knows we're still alive, Animation Land is safe from the clutches of the Black Cross Army. And look, Shotaro has just sent my script for Chapter 4 of Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger back to me, along with his illustrations. Well, I gotta take my mind off this crazy day, so see you later.
This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2018. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network. <laughs>